Hey guys, so first thing before I begin this reading, I should go ahead and say that I am not good at like pronouncing and punctuation and stuff like that because I'm doing this reading on I think they're Latin or a a Mexican K not K pop, my bad, a pop band group. So a lot of their names are very um Spanish influence like duh they're Spanish so like I know some Spanish but I I've never been good at pronouncing that has nothing to do with Spanish I just have to do with the fact that I have um what's it called I just have um you know language issues and language problems like pronouncing things like I pronounce words wrong in my native tongue, which is English. Like I have trouble, I have speech issues. That's what I'm trying to say. I do deal with like little speech issues here and there. So I'm just warning you right now. I might butcher a lot of names, but I will try to insert um, uh, a, the name of the person I'm trying to pronounce, so you know who I'm talking about. Okay. But I did listen to how to pronounce certain names. Hopefully, I pronounce them the best way I can so you guys can understand me. But this reading is going to be on a Mexican pop, uh, pop, popular pop group. They were very popular in like the early 2000s, even close to the mid 2010s ish. Like, I've never heard of them, but someone told me that they were very popular outside the US. So, um,. This reading is going to be on about the drama that's going on with their former uh, manager. About him allegedly, well I want to say allegedly, well I have to say allegedly because I think they're going through a court case right now. So the former manager allegedly stole some money from I think their VIP tickets or a fans that bought like a VIP package or something like that. They were, the person's basically stealing money, okay? And they found out and they fired him. And they're currently going through this whole lawsuit about it. But one of the members, I think her name is pronounced Anna E. Like I said, I pronounced it the best way I can. Anna E. She um, posted like a happy birthday post on her story. I'm assuming Instagram story. Uh, to the former manager. Despite these allegations and the lawsuits going on with the former manager stealing from them. And I also have been told that the other members in this group, after they saw Anna E post a happy birthday um, post to the former manager, they started being shady towards her, ignoring her, almost like alienation a little bit, like alienating her from the group a little bit. So what I'm going to do with this reading, I'm going to be mostly focusing on Anna E like her reasonings for why she did what she did possibly is she allegedly involved with the former manager with the whole um, stealing and theft and stuff like that like is she accomplished did she know stuff like that and if this video isn't too long I might just pull a card on every member to see how they feel about Anna E now after she had wished the former manager that stole from them a happy birthday. So we will see how this reading goes. Okay, so that's enough talking. Let me hurry and just jump into this reading. Okay, so the first tarot card would represent why did Anna E wish the former RBD manager a happy birthday? And then the second tarot card would represent is she really still friends with this former manager after everything they did, you know, the stealing and whatever? And of course, the third tarot card represents the energy between Anna E and her reasonings for continuing to be friendly with this former manager. So let's get into this reading. First tarot card we have is that's going to represent why did Anna E wish the former manager of RBD a happy birthday? That tarot card we have is ooh the Queen of Cups. Interesting. The Queen of Cups is a very empathetic, loving, caring, nurturing card. So that's already making me think that one, wishing the former manager a happy birthday actually, I guess, what's the word? She meant it out of kindness and care. She cares about this former manager. I'm assuming 
they have history a bond i feel like that comment told me that they were somewhat friends or close friends or something like that so that makes sense why she would actually still care about them as a person despite them loki stealing from the group their money and stuff like that she still cares about them she's very empathetic and loving that did not that whole incident or issue that's going on with the group and the foreign manager did not make Anna E like them or love them less what I'm trying to say because I'm getting such this supportive forgiving and calm energy from Anna E like kindness is like I don't think she was that bothered by the fact or didn't really care that this former manager was literally stealing from them like I feel like her feelings and why she wished them a happy birthday is on a personal level, not a business level. Because in her point of view, in her point of view, in her energy, that's that could be considered like a friend or somebody she least care a lot about. And because of that, she sees them in a different light versus everybody else or everybody that does not know this former manager on a somewhat personal level. Yeah, I just don't think... I wouldn't say she doesn't care. I feel like she posted that and did that just because she still sees this former manager as a friend. Someone that she has a bond with, history with, a connection towards, and she cares about. So, I don't think what she did was malicious. Maybe a little tone deaf, but in her perspective, this person is a friend and she still sees him in a good light in her eyes, despite what has happened between the group and the manager, the former manager. Okay, let me hop over to the next tarot card. I feel like I already know the answer, but I'm I'm just hop over to the next tarot card just to get that extra clarity. So the next tarot card is supposed to represent Anna E. Whether or not she's still friends with the former manager, it seems like that. Going back to the first card, the Queen of Cups, it seems like she's still friends with this person, still care about them. But, you know, I'm going to just look at this card and see if there's any more clarification on the fact. So the second tarot card we have is Ten of Pentacles Upright. Yes, they're still friends. And crazy enough, which I'm a little concerned, but it's okay, I'm going to pull more cards later. The Ten of Pentacles is also about business and wealth. Now, I'm a little concerned now. The reason I'm concerned is they're not just friends, still friends. They're still either working together or business partners, which, again, is concerning. Concerning, especially if this foreign manager was caught allegedly, allegedly, I'm saying allegedly, stealing money from the group. Because that can pull into the question, did Anna E know about this former manager stealing money and was she also either given more money or some type of hush money for cooperating i don't know but that's very interesting she still sees this former manager as a friend and a business partner a trusted business par partner because the ten of, ten, of ten of pinnacles is upright and it's all about uh, fulfilling your duties, having the privilege and the security of ambition and career and wealth. And this card also solidifies very good business practice. It don't have to be ethical. It is just very good because it's financially sustainable. Now I'm very curious, like, what exactly is their history together? Anna E and this foreign manager, like... I think that comment did say they were friends, but what type of friends? Like, they've known each other before she got famous in this RBD group, this band? Did they, um, did she recommend this foreign manager to be the group's manager? Like, what's the connection? Is this foreign manager close with her family or her husband or relatives or something like that? Because it feels like they're relationship connection is very tight knit i'm not sure what this is this is giving me like they're almost like family that's how tight knit i'm getting and it's also very concerning because i'm not sure if Anna e 
knew about this foreign manager stealing money and I'm not sure if she was also stealing money or taking extra money to be quiet about it. Like, was she finessing with the, the foreign manager? I don't know yet, but it's a little concerning because this Ten of Pentacles, well, Ten, ten of Coins, but Ten of Pentacles, it's just, it's giving you like, you know, welcome to the family type of stuff. It's like, like she gets a cut she gets a inheritance she's part of the foundation a core foundation of what he's about business wise people just don't know unless they do know like i have no clue about this group so i'm going in completely blind so again please forgive me i'm trying my best i'm just going in blind i'm just telling you what the cards are telling me and i'm trying to put into the best words possible i wonder did Anna E and his former manager become friends because of business or was they friends before the business because I do feel like their relationship despite them being friends there is some form of superficialness going on here and it makes me think is it I don't think it's image based I just think it I, th I just think it is connections and partnerships because it makes me think about how when it comes to schemes there's always someone on the top there's someone's in the, and then there's someone in the middle and then there's people at the bottom and if anything happens to anyone below the person at the top the person at the top can still push forward and, and still continue to do what they usually do but if something happens to the person at the top then the whole pyramid falls apart like everybody goes down with them so that's what I'm thinking I don't know why I said that because that's one that's what I'm seeing in my head a pyramid kind of like a pyramid scheme yeah that, is that what I'm thinking of a pyramid scheme yeah because the people at the bottom are expendable as you move up the pyramid the person at the top is the one that usually gets away with the crime so if the person at the top get caught, then everybody below falls and get caught too. Interesting. I wonder why I thought of that, huh? Okay, okay. Before I get off track, the answer to that question is, is Annie still friends with the foreign manager? Yes, they are. And I wouldn't be surprised, allegedly, she's still uh, business partners with this foreign manager too. So they still can be close-knit both personally and business wise which is a little concerning for me okay let me look at um the third tarot card before i move on to a completely different question because i'm gonna be asking multiple questions and breaking them down some so i'm not gonna be pulling six set of cards for one question i'm just gonna do three a question so hopefully the video is not too long so the third tarot card is supposed to represent the energy between Anna E and her reasonings for continuing to be friendly or stay friendly with this former manager. So the third tarot card we have is the Empress. What the fuck? And that brings me back to Queen of Cups and the Empress on the Mother cards. I'm just getting Empress, divine feminine energy, a, a woman that has all the abundance a woman a woman that's being taken care of connecting the empress to the ten of pentacles that's what i'm saying did he pay her money uh, allegedly allegedly did he pay her money did he pay her more money than the other members did he give her hush money does there's some type of energy of she is this empress and she gets some type of benefit i'm not sure what this benefit is for continuing to be friends and be on good terms with the foreign manager. It's like she's giving um, more attention, more opportunity, more some type of money, some type of stability. You, you know what? She reminds me of, let me see, how can I put this into words? Some women that only want to be with the, the best of the best men, kind of like uh, wealthy, successful men. Some call them gold diggers, social climbers, whatever, whatever. I'm not saying Anna E's a, a gold digger or whatever. I'm just saying those type of women have a certain type of mindset. They know how men act and what men want. And they go out their way to mold themselves in a way to fit those desires so they can get what they want. The reason why I'm saying that is that Anna E is a type of woman either pretends to know her place or 
she actually knows her place when it comes to the world she lives in or the um the environment or patriarchy or whatever it's like she knows how things is and she plays her part well reminds me of that like misogynistic saying like know your place woman it's like i'm not sure how to describe what i'm thinking and what i'm feeling it's like she knows her part either in this group or as a woman she knows how to conduct herself and and the reason I'm bringing, it, bringing this up for this question of, you know, the energy between Anna E and her reasonings for continuing to stay friendly with this farm manager is giving me that. It's like she's the type of woman that knows her place. She knows how to read the room and act accordingly. It's like going along with things because she knows she needs to. Like another mis misogynistic saying that's popping in my head is like oh stay out of a man's business it's like i don't know why i keep hearing these like misogynistic sayings popping into my head like these um sexist remarks and these gender roles these old school gender gender mentalities i'm not sure why they keep popping up in my head but there's something to do it connects with her yeah i keep hearing like in my head right now i keep hearing like just sit there and be pretty like I keep hearing these things like, like, be a woman, act like a woman, like, know your place, woman, like, stay out of man's business. Like, don't think, just listen, or just follow behind me, or follow me, follow my lead. So weird, what the hell's going on? Like, let me take a step back. So connecting the Empress to the Ten of Pentacles when it comes to why she's still friends with him. Of course, I'm seeing that loving, nurturing, motherly, friendly energy again, like I said earlier. But connecting the Empress towards the Ten of Pentacles is again, I'm getting that patriarchy of knowing your place and knowing what you need to do to either su survive or be secure or stable. Using whatever privilege that she could have to make sure that she's good for the future. Again, I'm hearing it in my head again. I'm hearing another one of those misogynistic look quotes like, do what you do what you're told to do. Like, I'm not sure why I keep hearing these things echo in my head for some freaking reason. I have no idea. Like, I don't know what's going on in her personal life. I don't know what happened in her past. I don't know what type of relationship she has with the former manager. I'm pretty sure someone said she's married so i'm assuming you know like i'm saying I'm from north america so um things are look i wouldn't say they're different i just think um i guess the u.s is somewhat kind of progressive or whatever women kind of do more what they want to do is not just traditional values i do pick up a lot of traditional energy from this in e person i'm not sure why I'm assuming there's a reason why, but I just don't know. I can't put the pieces together to why. In connecting the Empress to the Queen of Cups, again, that nurturing mother energy, loving, nurturing friend, just want to care for you. Also, that can represent family, living in your own perfect little Barbie world. Yeah, I really don't think Anna E sees what she have done as a negative thing. Her, um posting or saying happy birthday to the farm manager she don't see it the way the other members probably see it it's like she's in her own her own world or a completely different way of thinking like how dualistic hmm sorry if i'm if my voice is very low i'm thinking and talking to myself trying to comprehend what in the world that i'm picking up Again, I'm hearing it again in my head. Those misogynistic quotes like, don't bite the hand that feeds you. And I pay the, if I pay the bills, I make the rules. You listen to me. I'm hearing that again. What in the world's going on with this Anna E's life? Like, what's going on with her? Like, I, like, what's her backstory like? What is this? Who keeps saying this? Okay, clearly I'm not going to get any, any more information when it comes to this. And I'm not going to pull any more cards. I'm just going to go ahead and move on to my next spread for my next completely different question. So hopefully that will answer it indirectly any miss, missing pieces from this question pool.